In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Um, a new episode of our program, Stories. I, I'm sure that you heard about uh, Abuna, our father, Justus Elantoni. Father Justus was a saint, uh, uh, lived until he passed away 1976, December 1976. And he appeared many times after that. Until now, he appears in the monastery and to many people. So we believe that saints are in heaven and Abuna Justus is one of them. That's good. But you know, I'll tell you something very strange. In 1978, I was going around and uh, uh, getting some uh, stuff for the monastery from Cairo. So I found a very rich man uh, with his car stopped for me and said, Father, uh, where are you going? I said to the, our center here in Cairo. He said, OK, come with me. I'll pick up you to there. Thank you so much. And I entered his car. And he asked me, from which monastery are you? I said, Santa Anthony Monastery. He said, oh, oh, that's great. How is the Buna, who, the, the one who is not clean? Uh, I can't remember his name. I said, the Buna Yustos. He said, yes, how is the Buna Yustos? I said, he passed away. And he said, oh, my goodness, passed away. I said, yeah, uh, a year and a half or something like that. He said, oh, I wish to see him. I wish to see him again. And I said to him, we are preparing for, um, we are preparing some uh, old uh, miracles about him. And we are writing down all his miracles. So if he did any miracle with you, would you please tell us about it? He said, I will. But you promised me not to publish it now. Wait for years and years until everybody forget about me. Then uh, publish it. I gave him a promise. He said to me, you know, I'm uh, I am a very famous guy in the church. A lot of people knew about me, and a lot of fathers and bishops knew about me very well. But actually, I was, I was giving a lot of money to everybody. As um, I am a very good giver, but I was very bad because I was doing that just to show off that I'm giving money to the church and to the people. And every time that one of the fathers comes to me to get uh, my uh, donation, I just call the secretary, I call the accountant, I call everybody to see that I am giver, a very good giver. I give people money. Look, donation. And one day, I went with a group of fathers to St. Anthony Monastery. I was there, and I was proud of myself. And while I was there, there is, uh, I'm sorry to say, but he is a dirty man, a, dirty, a man with dirty cloth came to me and uh, just touched my suit. And he was pushing, pulling me with him. So I said to him, go away. You will make dirt into, 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 my, uh, into my suit. T be careful. And, so the people said to me, the father said to me, he's a saint, he's a bunayost. And he went with him and said, don't touch me, OK? I will come, I will follow you, but don't touch me. And he kept going after him. He, he followed him until they became alone. The bunayost turned, and he looked at him into his face and said, repent. This is the last message from heaven to you. And he's, God is sending you this message only because you was giving. Yes, you are giving for show, to, to show off, but still, uh, God counted for you. So you have to repent. He said to him, what are you talking about? Don't you know me? You're talking, I repent. I am a very good man. I am in the church all the time. I am, he said to him, repent again, repent and confess about the lady which you commit adultery with her and he gave him her name and the man that you are stealing with 
and give him his name. And you are doing so and so and so and so. And he kept telling him his sins, all his sins. So the man was shaking and said, uh, kept saying, please, Father, don't tell anybody. Please, Abuna, please, please don't tell anybody. He said, I'm not going to tell anybody. But I'm just telling you, this is the last message from heaven to you. And this is for the show of giving. Okay? And he left him. So the man was shaking, as I told you, and he, he was sweating. And he went back to the car and, uh, to take the fathers. And he said to himself, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I, I couldn't stand before, before a monk, uh, his, his clothes torn and, uh, and dirty. And I couldn't look at his eyes. He's away from Cairo, 300 uh, kilometers ago, uh, away from, from Cairo. And still, I couldn't stand even before his eyes and I look at his eyes and while he's telling me my sins what I will do in heaven what I will say in heaven it will be a disaster and he said to me that he decided into himself that he will stop everything and he will pay those bad guys any money from his wealth even he, if he lost all his wealth he will accept that just not to stand the same stand again and that happened you know he said third of my wealth went away just to to let those people away from me and he said the only thing that i couldn't go to the church again because i said i might find a, a father god revealed to him my my sins and he will he might tell so he said, I was very happy to give to anybody, anybody, but secretly. Because God took care of my show off giving. What about secret giving? So he said, I was so happy to give anybody asking me donation. Uh, but the, the only thing happened that I never went to that church at that time. He said, I heard one of the guys in our, um, uh, in our factory. One of the workers said to me that he's going to visit St. Anthony. He went with him as a normal guy. He didn't tell that he is Mr. So-and-so. And he said, while I was there, Abu Nayustus was sleeping there. And everybody just uh, passed by him. But when I, I came close to him, he stood up and took me from ha my hand. So I went with him without any words. I never, I, I didn't say a word with him because he knows everything about me. And he took him to a tree, uh, to olive tree, and he uh, uh, hold for him a branch and said, this branch, if it leaves this tree, it will die. He said, yes, Father, I know. I said, and you too. If you leave the church, you will die. You will be worse than before. God accepted your repentance and he's happy for you. But you have to go and confess. Go to the Father in a specific place and he will never ask you who, who you are and confess. And take your kids and wife every, every week and go and uh, have a communion. This is good for you. You can't leave the church. And he said, since then, and then, since then Abuna, I'm very okay. I, I go to uh, every week to the church. I'm so happy. The blessings came to my house and all my, change, uh, all my life changed because I met with Father Yostus Antoni. May his blessing be with us all. Amen. Glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.